we are on our way to Yosemite National Park tomorrow and this is our first time. Mm -hmm. We're very excited. And it literally took me two weeks to pack <laughs> for this trip. Uh, I mean, no, not really two weeks, but it did take me a long time to figure out what to pack because of the weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the weather, it's gonna be, it, we're going the first week of September, so from September 2nd through the 9th, and the weather, it's going to be 90, close to 90 degrees during the day, and then it drops down to 50 degrees in the morning and at night. So it's like you have to pack two different ways and uh, layer. And then we're also going to areas where it might have um, water um, from the waterfall. So you have to pack like a raincoat. Yeah. There's like a lot involved, um, more than any of our other trips right. that we've ever done. So even thinking about hiking, water shoes. Yeah, shoes. Um, so yeah, so this is why it took a long time to kind of figure out what to pack and how to pack properly or dress properly for um, this trip with the fluctuating temperatures. So yeah, so we're gonna show you what we're packing for Yosemite in September. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and go first. I mean, we kind of packed pretty, pretty similar. similar. Um, but for me, I'm actually just taking on a carry-on and this is also another Sorry, we have a lot of ruckus going on because yeah. we have a puppy around. Um, her name is Zoe, she's very cute. Uh, but she's getting antsy because we're not giving her attention. Yeah, so she, yeah. if you hear some puppy sounds or some grunting, it's not a man, it's actually a puppy. Yeah, it's a big puppy. Um, so yeah, I um, am taking a carry-on and that's why it also took me a little bit to figure out what I'm gonna pack. And the first thing I always, whenever I travel anywhere, the clothes I'm wearing, not right now, but the clothes I'm traveling in and the clothes I come back in when I travel are the same. Mm -hmm. um, they don't, it usually doesn't get dirty. So, and I feel like you're just traveling anyway. So why do you need to wear two different outfits? So that helps save room um, in my luggage. Another thing I do is um, I wear my coats so that doesn't take up space in my luggage. So I'll be wearing, um, I'm gonna actually be wearing this um, like soft sweater blazer. blazer. Mm -hmm. So this is like good for the nighttime. Well, not when we're hiking, but you know, when we're eating out and stuff, you want like a nice um, warm sweater or something since it'll be cold. So I'm gonna wear this on my flight and I also need like a down coat because it is gonna be cold. Right. Um, so I don't wanna be wearing two coats. So what I have is this really cool, um, there's a jacket in here, but it's also a neck pillow. So this flight is very short, so I don't really need my other neck pillow that I always use. This is kind of like, um, uh, I'm really not gonna use it to sleep, but it's fooling the flight attendants. Like I'm carrying a neck pillow, yeah. um, but it's actually my down coat in here. So this is what I will be wearing when I'm hiking. And then, you know, once it starts getting warm, I'll stuff this in my backpack and it's super lightweight. Same with the hat, we're gonna be wearing, it's good to, you know, wear a hat, especially, um, you know, I don't I don't really like wearing sunglasses when we're hiking. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I think it's much better to wear a cap because I think the sunglasses, they kind of slide down your face or. Well, plus um, it protects you it from does protect the sun you. rays. And, you know, we will be in some woodsy areas. So I think for, if you're worried about, you know, bugs or um, ticks, you know, if you have a hat on, that's a good idea mm -hmm. too. Cause you can spot them better if, um, if you're wearing a hat and they won't get in your hair. Yeah. Uh, so wait, this is the outfit I'm wearing on, and I guess I'll put it down here. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just like, what, black leggings and a t-shirt? Yeah, right? it's just a shirt and black, really black um, jo uh, joggers, black joggers, really comfy. Joggers, yeah. yeah. Black so joggers. I'm basically wearing the same thing, just uh, black leggings and a black t-shirt and yeah. a jean jacket, and I'll be wearing that. Same as candy, both yeah. travel days. So I mainly packed leggings, because leggings, um, they're lightweight. Um, they also are great, like if you get them wet or you're sweating, they dry quickly. And that's one thing too, is that we're not gonna have any you know, washer or dryer, so we need something that if we do get wet or if we're sweating a lot, it's supposed to be in the 90s, we want something that dries fast. So I, you know, I have my leggings here. Um, and then of course I, I brought also, um, I'm bringing shirts that are also quick dry. And um, actually I'm gonna bring, you know, a lot of basic colors. I think mm -hmm. a lot of black and white. Yeah, um, same. And this one actually um, is from Organic Basics. I've never purchased from them, 
But I um, found out that they this is a quick dry type and also it's good um, for odor. So it's got that, what's that called? Polygene. Poly it's got the polygene technology, mm -hmm. which so if, um, even if I am sweating a lot, it should be pretty good at like uh, masking out the odor and stuff. Yeah. So, and it's quick dry. So I might be wearing this for two days in a row if, you know, if I feel like it. And this is also for layering like a light top. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a coat, but it's like a mesh. So um, this is one of the, so I'll probably wear like leggings, a shirt, a light coat, and then like a, a coat. So then I'm going to be like, you know, taking all these off as the day goes on and then putting it back on when it starts cooling down again. Mm -hmm. So then I was looking at um, hiking shoes and we're not avid hikers. So I don't like those like really big bulky like hiking shoes, like mm. high tops. I'm like, well, we're not going to do serious <laughs> hiking. Right. I was thinking about bringing it, but I was like, do I really need hiking shoes for this? And another problem too is that they're so bulky to pack. They take up a lot of room. They, yeah, they yeah. take up so much room. So I'm like, do I really want to bring that? I actually came across um, Adidas. They actually have their own um, other line of kind of like hiking sneakers mm -hmm. and it's like the Turex line. I think that this is per yeah. that's when we found them we're like perfect this is exactly what we need. It's yeah. like in between a sneaker and a um, hardcore hiker. It's yeah. like in between. So they have these cool <laughs> ridges on the bottom to help you not slip and help you with these slippery hikes like Miss Trap. Yeah, so Crystal got she got a different version. Yeah, I got a um, black version. And I got a white one. But yeah, you can totally tell like that mm -hmm. it's gonna have a good grip. A couple of different things that I am packing is uh, this scarf, which really came in handy in Banff because I, you know, could use it when while I'm traveling. First of all, because I can use it as a blanket, and because planes are always so cold for whatever reason. And then you know, in the mornings in Banff, I would just wear this like this. Or it's probably better. I'm not doing this <laughs> the correct way, but you know, there's so many ways you could style these scarves too. So you can, you know, wear this scarf, or you can like wear it as a um, what do you call it when you put it a over a shawl? A shawl. Yeah. That's it. So you can wear it as a shawl. Uh, but yeah, it was very, very versatile, and it worked out great. And it doesn't take up like too much room. And again, you yeah. can just carry this with you on the plane. You know, over like a shawl. So. And she looks so cute with the scarf and photos. Yeah, it looks like so her hat. cute. <laughs> I thought she looked cute, like that and the hat and then the jean jacket. I also got a lot of compliments on yeah. this. So and I was you can like, get compliments too. And I was like, well, I should have bought one too because she got it on Amazon. It's so cheap. It's yeah. really cheap on like Amazon. Yeah, it's so like $15. I was like, I should have gotten one. So worth it. <laughs> so for our hike at uh, Miss Trails, I got a raincoat. Mm -hmm. It's very lightweight. Um, you can, the hoodie's actually hidden here. And this is gonna be in my backpack while I'm hiking. And once we get up there, and if the mist is really um, powerful, I'm gonna throw this on. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I got this one on Amazon, actually really cheap, like 30 bucks. Yeah, and I got this um, at Athleta. And it's called the Ascender Jacket, but uh, it's made for uh, hiking. And then our bandolier. bandolier. This is where we always take this with us everywhere. This is our favorite phone accessory because we know we're always taking photos and mm -hmm. shooting videos. So it's just wrapped around us at all times. And you know, it won't accidentally drop it while we're taking photos. And this also carries your cards in the back. They have a lot of different styles. Um, and it's not just for iPhones, they make them for Samsung too. They used to only sell or make, make cases for iPhones, but now they sell for other um, phone brands too. And mm -hmm. You can um, change the, if you don't like this strap, you can go on on their site and buy a different strap. So you can have like one case, but then like just change out the straps for like, you know, if you mm -hmm. want a different color, you want to change it up. So we really, really like bandolier and we, we've, I don't know, we've used, we've taken them with us everywhere for oh, the past everywhere. three years. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's definitely an essential for us now. Hopefully we packed properly and we don't forget anything, um, but we will actually check back in and let you know if everything worked mm -hmm. out and if there was something that we, sh we wish we'd have brought. So, yeah. or if everything was perfect. Yeah. <laughs>
end of our trip and we thought it'd be a good idea to kind of let you know well, while we're on this trip like oh man we should have brought that or man we really didn't need to bring that yeah what we didn't need on this trip were puffer jackets we didn't even wear this once not once. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot warmer than we thought because when we looked at the average temperature for Yosemite during for this time the of year. Yeah, first week of September, even when we checked you know, the weather forecast, they would say 50 was the lowest it would go. That's pretty cold yeah, it's pretty for cold. us. The coldest it got was 60 degrees. Yeah. So we would wore a light jacket like this. And I wore like this cardigan. Mm -hmm. This was like the most that we needed. And that's all we needed. And only for a couple of hours uh, yes. in the morning. And then at night we would wear it too. Um, I would say usually around 8 o'clock, yeah. 8 p.m. when we start needing yeah. our light jackets. Yeah. But that was it. That was the yeah. coldest it got. Another thing that I brought up that I was like, oh, I didn't really need to bring this was my raincoat. Yeah, yeah. same. Same. I didn't um, use it. Because we read a lot of um, other posts where we did mist trail. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the waterfalls, the mist really gets you wet. So we're like, oh, we don't want to get our clothes wet. Um, but I guess this time of year by now, the the water is kind of dried up. Yeah. So the mist really isn't that strong. I wore this once just to wear it when it was mm -hmm. kind of chilly in the morning when I didn't have this. But that was it. Like, yeah. I really did not need this. All right. So getting to things we wish we would have brought. Yeah. Uh, number one, headlamp. <laughs> yes, because we did this hike to Taft. Point, which you should definitely do if you go to Yosemite. And That's do it at, one hike you have to and do. And do it at sunset. There are so yeah. many pretty colors. It's just indescribable how beautiful and surreal it was there. So we wanted to definitely go there for sunset. And what comes after sunset is darkness. Yes. <laughs> so. You have to hike back through the woods in the darkness for a mile. Yeah. A little over a mile. And thank goodness we have flashlights on our iPhone because that's yeah. what we were all using. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, there is no way we could have made it back. It's pitch it's, black. Yeah, pitch yeah. black. So, I mean, yes, we have the, you know, the flashlight on our phones, but, but also we found that our uh, iPhones would run out of battery super fast. So conserve your phone battery if you can, if you're going to use your phone light. I mean, because it did work yeah. out for us. And but it's also kind of a pain just to have to hold your phone. It was getting like tiring. Yeah. I was just kind of letting Candy do it because I was yeah. getting tired. <laughs> so having a headlamp, because we actually have headlamps. We, we used it when we were in Banff yep. National Park. And another thing I wished I would have brought more of was leggings. Me too. Yeah. I, you know, a lot of times when I pack things, pants, I'll wear like two or three days right. in a row. Same. Um, but because a lot of the hikes are very dusty, our leggings would get so brown, so brown. It was from dirty. The, it was very dirty. Yeah, yeah, this is probably the first national park I've been to where I've dusty. gotten so dusty. Yeah. Like our shoes were covered in dust and dirt. Yes. But they're not like rugged hikes or anything, no. but their dirt is really fine. Yeah, it's not so muddy or anything sticks, like yeah. that. It's just, yeah. The it sticks spine, to your clothes and shoes. It's fine, dirt, mm -hmm. sandy, like it's, yeah. Another thing we wish we would have brought, especially when we were hiking, uh, was it Mist Trail? Mist Trail? Was called, yeah. The um, hike hiking, up to the waterfall? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a very strenuous hike, and when I, I, and I was watching other hikers, they all had um, poles, hiking poles, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh man, that would have been, so useful because we did try to pick up like sticks from nature. Yeah. And they work to some extent, but they're kind of rough on your hands when you hold them. They're a long rough time. and they're heavy. And they're, they're very heavy. heavy. Whereas hiking sticks, you can actually adjust it. They're collapsible. Um, yeah, they're collapsible. And I definitely would have. I probably would have utilized it. Yeah. yeah. We saw a lot of hikers do that. Speaking of that trail, another uh, useful thing would probably be oh. hiking boots because yes. you need to support your ankles. Yeah. What happened to me, we, we got uh, great sneakers that had traction on it. They were and called they for, yeah, Adidas Trekkers. They're right? uh, the Terex. Oh, Terex, sorry. Yeah, and they worked for all of our other hikes mm -hmm. just fine. Yeah, just yeah. fine. They're, they're great for everything else. But that hike specifically, it was rubbing against my uh, ankle here, so I was trying to get blisters. And, and it wasn't really supporting my ankle, and it really would have helped because uh, towards the end, when you get towards uh, Vernal Falls, you're going over these really uh, high steep, steps, steep yeah, height steep steps, steps, and yeah. it would have been helpful to have hiking boots to support your ankles there. I think that's pretty much it. I think so. Yeah. I, mean, I think relatively, we did a great job packing. Yeah. There's just a few things that we could have done without. So, <laughs> if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.